So we now have an Islamic party of Ontario. And honestly, this can be a very good thing because if you noticed during interviews with Maxime Bernier, whenever he would talk about the dangers of multiculturalism, the media would ask him to point to an example of something that doesn't work. But now we have an example of this. We Now, uh, whenever he brings it up, he could say, well, look at the platform uh, of the Islamic Party of Ontario and tell me that you want this in Canada. Tell me that you want a theocracy in Canada. Tell me that you want uh, blasphemy laws, which they are proposing in the Islamic Party of Ontario. So it's like right there. This is this is honestly perfect. And even within that document, they mentioned that for Canada not to be reliant on immigration, we need to fix the family structure. So that's one of the policies that I can agree with. But that's another thing that we can point to and be like, look at even the, the Islamic Party of Ontario uh, realizes that we need to fix the family structure to in order to for us not to be relying on immigration because it's, you know it's not sustainable other because what our governments currently do they just like okay let's what Trudeau is doing is like let's create programs to uh, help the youth and to uh, you know mentor them this and that but there's never any mention of the family and keeping families together because this is the safest environment for children this is the the environment where children can prosper it's not in a single mother household but there, there is never any mention of that so it's like at, at least the islamic party of ontario is going to say something about that but the rest of it it's like you know they want a theocracy they want to live under sharia law but this this is a perfect example we can now point to. So, so thank you for coming around and uh, showing us what you truly believe. Because the media before could just say no, 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 they don't all believe that. Yada yada yada. Uh, th they believe in Muslim values or Canadian values. What are you talking about? You're a bigot. So it's like okay, read it yourself and tell us this is what you want in Canada, which a lot of them, it's going to be very hard for them to do that. So that there's a talking point that they are no longer going to have to use against Maxim Bergain. He even, he even addressed it today on Twitter. He's like, I was criticized by multiculturalists for saying that immigrants must adopt our values and integrate our in our society. Where's the problem, they ask? Now there, there is a new party that wants to govern Ontario according to, is, to the Quran. Uh, will this ideological diversity make us stronger? So exactly, you know, good point right there. It's like, this is an example of diversity is not our strength. We're going to ha be having parties like this that pop up and are going to get more and more power the more Muslim people we bring in. And eventually, if we keep on the same road we are going with mass immigration, this party is going to get power or a party similar to it. And <laughs> people will be like, oh, diversity is our strength. We love living in, in an area where we can't walk down the fucking street dressed immodestly or something uh, without a hijab on and having religious police to go around. Like if in, in New York, they already have this like... Uh, a Muslim community patrol because they're like, oh, well, there's a bunch of Muslims in this area and they need, you know, representation and Muslims will trust other Muslims to police them. But really, it's just so they can go and implement a and uh, what they believe and enforce Sharia law on the people in that Muslim community. And there's also one for like, I don't know, New York Jewish people and another Asian one. So that that is the future for Canada. There's going to be a lot of different groups. They're all going to be policing themselves that are going to be uh, creating parties that try to implement a theocracy like this one is doing. So like this, this is multiculturalism. It's not our strength. Our strength is the unity and of all people together in Canada and also the values that built this nation that what made it great initially what brought it wealth initially and you know that is more of a free society more of a free market 
society. It's not socialism. It's not uh, Islam. It's none of those things. So the, the more we keep this going, the worse it's going to get. But this at, at, at the moment is actually a good thing that we can use in the future whenever we get attacked by multiculturalists and leftists who say, what do you mean? What values are you talking about that you don't want in Canada? Can you, can you point to something? Well, thank you is the Islamic Party of Ontario because you provided us with something. But that's pretty much how to say if you like my content, subscribe and have a good day. See ya.